We're about 12 league games into the championship season and things are going okay. So following on from last episode's defeat against Ipswich Town, we then beat Peterborough away from home in the first round of the League Cup. We did play a fully rotated side and Stamenkovic got a 91st minute winner to give us the win. We then faced Coventry City back in league action on 1-4-1. Korobov, Stamenkovic, Derval and Cox with the goals. A narrow 1-0 win followed that at home against Blackburn. Leefield with a penalty in the 37th minute. We then suffered defeat away from home against Brighton. Derval had put us in front eight minutes in, but Owen Fawn scored two to give Brighton the three points. We did then beat Bournemouth 4-1 in the League Cup second round. Leefield with a hat-trick and Zach Howes with the goals in this one. A victory away from home against Everton was a very decent result. Neil Leefield with a brace, two penalties was needed to get past this Everton defence. We then beat Sunderland 2-1 away from home. Leefield and Howes with the goals. Dave Dennis got them an 81st minute goal, which did lead to a last 10 minutes, which was a bit nervy, but we did manage to hold on. We then disappointingly drew at home against Bournemouth, having just beaten them in the League Cup. We then struggled back in league action. Elson Slagger had put us in front 52 minutes in. They equalised almost immediately, and uh, we couldn't find a way through. We did bounce back, though, with a 2-1 away win against Middlesbrough. Amadou Diallo got an own goal in the 31st minute, and Derval put us 2-0 up 40 minutes in. They got a goal in the 60th minute, but it wasn't enough to get back into the game. Safely through to the fourth round of the League Cup after a 2-0 away victory against Scunthorpe. Stamenkovic put us in front in the, inside the first minute, and Korobov got a 58th minute goal, a double hour lead. Then was performance of the season, a 6-0 away win against Notts County. Chris Dubelbis. Derval, Stamenkovic, Leefield, Trevinovic and Stelvagen with the goals. Leefield even missed a penalty inside the first 13 minutes. Otherwise, it would have been 5-0 up uh, inside 15 minutes. But here, we will take a 6-0 away win all day. And finally, was a 2-0 home win against Leicester City. Stamenkovic and Zach Howes with the goals in this one. And that sees the Skybet Championship looking like this. We currently sit in third position. Two points behind league leaders Bristol City, but we do have a game in hand. We are level on points with both Southampton and Derby and two points ahead of West Ham. Currently sitting in fifth and today was meant to be Southampton and West Ham but it's actually going to be Southampton and Brentford. The league fixture against West Ham was rearranged due to internationals. Our boys are looking pretty tired right now. We've played a lot of games in close concession. Hopefully now once the international break comes up there's only a few players away. It'll, it'll give us a two week break between now and Brentford. And uh, hopefully a lot of our boys are a lot fitter than they are currently. But we're going pretty much full strength for this one. Clayton in goal. Howes and Trofinovic in centre-half with Selvagen, Dubelbis and Korobov in the defensive midfield line. Calero and Derval in the centre of midfield. Slager in behind Leefield and Stamenkovic. Uh, Southampton a massive tie. Obviously they look like they're going to be one of the sides that are challenging for the title and automatic promotion spot. So... To get an early win against them will be absolutely fantastic. I already recognise a couple of our former players. Conradi was a left back. I can't even remember who we had him at. It was at Leeds United. We signed him for seven and a half million. He's now at Southampton. He's developed into a decently well-rounded left back. Nothing special. But I also noticed Jamie Coyle out there on the right hand side. We had him at Forest. Yeah, Forest 1.6 million. He's playing in the championship now. A little bit of a downgrade for him. And Ian Chapman, of course, we had at Leeds United. He was a big signing for us at the time. Uh, 15.25 million has been out Southampton ever since. Being sold by Leeds for 37 million quid. That's enough about Southampton. Let's get into the game. First highlight of the game comes nine minutes in. Southampton on the attack down the left-hand side. Trevinovic deals with the cross, but not great. Alingham can't get his cross in. Jimmy Coyle's got the pace to beat Jubilbis there, but he hasn't got that air. Uh, Dribbling capability to get past him. Dubelbis sets away Stamankovic. Leefield's in the box. And it's a devastating counter-attack by ourselves. Neil Leefield's 11th goal of the season. The two strikers are combining pretty well. I'm, I've been a little bit disappointed in Stamankovic's output in terms of his goals and assists. But Leefield has been pretty solid for us so far. I think that's 11 goals in 12 or 13 games in the league now. So we'll take that all day. Another highlight now, 20 minutes in Stellwagen on this right-hand side. I mean, that's why I tell him not to shoot. He doesn't listen. Corner for us, Stamenkovic is the man to play at houses there. At the front post, he can't get his header quite on target. Oh, bad challenge by Calero. That is going to be a red card. There he is, he's been sent off. We are down to 10 men with another 60 minutes still to play in this match. We are going to sacrifice one of our central midfielders. 
We're going to drop back our wing backs as well. Oh, actually, we're going to keep him there. He can't play right back. <laughs> Stamenkovic is going to be the man who was sacrificed. We're going to bring on uh, San Pedro in that central midfielder role. We'll switch him and Duval. Suits uh, Duval better being a box to box midfielder. And now we've really got to consider what we do. We're going to go from attacking to balanced, which is a significant drop in our attacking intent. But is it going to be enough to be able to hold out Southampton for the rest of this game? Mercifully, the first half ends without any further action going. We'll see how the second half goes. First highlight of the second half, Southampton have the ball in the defence. The ball's played over the top for Ian Chapman, who gets in behind. Harrison Clayton with a fantastic save at his near post keeps us in our 1-0 lead. Chapman will take the corner for Southampton, though. Oh, great. Oh, it wasn't a great save. It was a poor strike. Southampton almost equalise. Once they go attacking, that's when I hit the counter button. Uh, maybe we'll go 2-0 up here. Duval with a free kick. It's someone, something's happened. I have no idea what happened. But we do get ourselves a penalty in knee Lee Field. I think he missed his last one. Can he score this one? He certainly can. Not a great penalty, but it does manage to beat the goalkeeper. And with 20 minutes to go, we now find ourselves 2-0 up. Even down to 10 men, I will be disappointed to not get the three points now. In the interest of trying to keep some of our boys fit, we'll take off Korobov. We've got Paul... I don't want to bring Paul Watson. Jabari Cox can come on on the left-hand side. We'll also look to take off Derval in the centre of the park. We'll bring on Gavin Burton for him. And with 10 minutes to go, I'm relatively confident now, even with 10 men, we're going to get the win. Seven minutes to go now. We have ourselves another highlight. Jubilbis switches the play to Cox on the left-hand side and his strike goes over the bar. And there we have it, then the red card wasn't decisive. Stoke City 2, Southampton nil. a fantastic victory against one of our close rivals. I will see you in two weeks' time for the Brentford game. So here we are loading up to the Brentford game. The only change to our starting eleven from the last game is San Pedro coming in for, uh, what's his face? The Uruguayan centre midfielder that we've got. Let's get a kick off, see how we get on away from home. Brentford are currently sitting in 16th place in the championship so even away from home we are strong favorites let's see if we can match that first highlight of the game comes 10 minutes in it's brentford who are on the attack down the right hand side the ball is whipped in we do manage to get it clear but di fioria is he one of ours hold on a second di fioria why do i recognize that name he's not one of ours i'm completely lying so the opening half an hour or so hasn't been too kind to us in terms of the match stats but this is only the second highlight of the game san pedro to uh, Shell, Shell Wagon on the right hand side. I'll need to change his name. Korobov gets in the box to Mankovic to Slager. The highlight continues. Alvaro Yepes is one of our former men and he goes very, very close. Yeah, Yepes just never really uh, developed how I thought he would. But we get ourselves another highlight 32 minutes in. Uh, Duval to Korobov. It's not a down Leefield to San Pedro to Stamankovic and he's offside. Don't even celebrate. We definitely came back into that first half of the, maybe the second half of the first half. Um, so we'll keep things as they are for now. Kick off for the second half and hope for a little bit more potency in our attack. First highlight of the second half. It's a Brentford attack down this left-hand side. The cross is cleared by ourselves. And we are set away with Stamankovic down this left-hand side. He gets past his man. He's in one-on-one. -on -one, and that's a fantastic save by the Brentford goalkeeper to keep them at nil-nil. We'll stick with this corner because you never know. Korobov. Placed into the near post and it's cleared. Come on, boys. 25 minutes left in this match. We have ourselves a highlight. Jubilbis to Korobov to Stamankovic. And uh, that can't be the highlight. It's not the highlight. It's a Brentford highlight. Rossetti gets in behind a big kick up by the goalkeeper. Thankfully, it wasn't a great strike and we survived that one. We have ourselves another highlight. 68 minutes gone. Let's see who this is going to fall to. Stamankovic wins the ball just inside there. Half he drives past one, drives past two. He's in the box. Probably would have done better getting across into the back post, I would say. With only 15 minutes remaining, we'll look to make a couple of changes. Stelvagen is struggling out there. We'll bring on Riestra. He's not natural on that right-hand side by any stretch of the imagination, but we are struggling for numbers on that right-hand side. We'll bring on Gavin Barton for uh, near Leofield. And uh, Duval's not having the greatest game, so we'll bring on Paul Watson for him. Come on, boys. Seven minutes left. Pinch a goal here. We might pinch three points. Or maybe it might be Brentford who ends up pinching three points. They win the ball back. And it looks like they're going to spring a counter. Mick Quirk with a long ball over the top. It's a poor one. Let's uh, see how our defence handles this. We handle it pretty well, playing it into the midfield. 
and Korobov is set away down the left hand side. He feeds it to Stamankovic and he's had about three or four good opportunities now. And as you can see by his average rating 6.3, he hasn't uh, covered himself in all that much glory. Brentford with a free kick. <sighs> I mean, we beat Southampton, you know, team very, very close to us in the league, down to 10 men. And then we go away from home against mid table Brentford. And we're going to suffer defeat through an 87th minute free kick. And now we have it. Brentford 1, Stoke City 0. Really, really disappointing. Now, a third league defeat of this season already. We definitely need to start picking it up. Um, maybe stringing a good few wins together. And that's how the league table will look at the end of today's episode. We currently sit in fifth position. Five points off league leaders Bristol City. And two points off second place Derby County. Now, we do have a couple of games in hand on those two sides. And a game in hand on all the other sides in and around us. So we're not in a bad position by any stretch. But uh, that defeat definitely stung a little bit. It took away a hell of a good run of form that we've been having currently. Uh, but anyway lads. We're going to play through all of these games. Up to Coventry and Swansea City. Which will be the next episode. Just before the January transfer window. But anyway. If you have enjoyed today's video. Please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content. Get yourself subscribed. But until next time. Take it easy.